Now, we will be giving out the CCBC's most long-standing award. Yes, this award was founded in 1988, the Jeffrey Bilson Award for Historical Fiction for Young People. Try saying that five times fast. This award is to honor the memory of Jeffrey Bilson, an author and academic who taught at the University of Saskatchewan for over 20 years and published historical fiction for young people. So here is Gail DeVos, the chair of the Jeffrey Bilson Award. Hello, my name is Gail DeVos and I'm the chair of the Bilson Award for historical fiction for young readers here in Canada. I have been the chair for over 20 years which in its own way is a historical fact, not fiction. And I am very, very proud each year to be involved with this award. It started in 1988, named after Jeffrey Bilson, who himself wrote historical fiction. And it celebrates, celebrates those who do their research and write so well, so that our young readers know not only the history of this country, but of the world outside of our borders. So if you don't know our history, how can you grow? How can you move forward? And so it always gives me so much pleasure, not only reading the books, but coming with the jury to a shortlist. And in my mind, those who reach the shortlist should be celebrated as much as the winner itself. And so congratulations to all of those on the shortlist and to our winner. And I know Jeffrey Bilson, well, he would be proud too, to know that the high caliber of writing here in Canada celebrates historical fiction year after year after year. Congratulations all. And the nominees for the Jeffrey Bilson Award for Historical Fiction for Young People Sponsored by the Canadian Children's Book Centre's Bilson Endowment Fund are Barry Squires, Full Tilt Written by Heather Smith Published by Penguin Teen Canada The Brushmaker's Daughter Written by Kathy Kaser Published by Second Story Press Journal of a Travelling Girl Written by Nadine Nima And illustrated by Archie Beaverhoe Published by Wandering Fox Books The Paper Girl of Paris Written by Jordan Taylor and published by Harper Teen. Under Amelia's Wing. Written by Heather Stemp and published by Nimbus Publishing. And the winner is... The Paper Girl of Paris by Jordan Taylor, published by Harper Teen. Congratulations to you, Jordan. Now, let's see how she reacted to the good news. You are the winner of the Jeffrey Bilson Historical Fiction for Young People. <laughs> are you kidding me? What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh god! Thank you! Wow! Um, cool! Well, that just made my life. To the Canadian Children's Book Centre and to this year's jurors, I want to say thank you so, so much for awarding the Jeffrey Bilson Award for Historical Fiction for Young People to The Paper Girl of Paris. When I found out The Paper Girl of Paris had been nominated, I actually got quite emotional because I knew exactly what the Jeffrey Bilson Award was. It was the same seal that I saw as a kid on Kit Pearson's The Sky is Falling and the Lights Go On Again from the Guests of War trilogy about British children who were evacuated to Canada during World War II. Those Kit Pearson books made me fall in love with history and with historical fiction from a super young age, and it's an incredible honor to be receiving the same award all these years later. I want to give a huge congratulation to my fellow finalists, Heather Smith, Kathy Kaser, Nadine Nima, Archie Beaverhoe, and Heather Stemp. Shout out to Canadian authors and illustrators who are creating awesome historical fiction. I also want to give a few more thank yous to my agent, Danielle Burby, my editor on this book, Catherine Wallace, my Canadian publicist, Maeve O'Regan, and the rest of the wonderful teams at Harper Teen and HarperCollins Canada who helped edit, design, and share this book with the world. Big, big hugs to my family and friends for their love and support, and an especially big hug to my husband, Tim, 
the greatest teammate in the world, who helped me research World War II France, who traveled to Paris with me and joined me as I wandered through the streets collecting details to put into this book, and who actually acted out scenes from The Paper Girl of Paris with me in our living room so we could make sure they seemed realistic. Tim, you are the best and I love you so much it physically hurts. <laughs> Um, finally, The Paper Girl of Paris was my first book, and it came out in the early months of the pandemic. That's why my final thank you goes to every reader who picked up this book and who supported me when the whole world felt like it was upside down. I wouldn't be here without you, and I am so, so very grateful. Thank you. Wow. There we get to really see the impact that award-winning books can have in the life of a budding author, even when they're still a kid. And it was really great to hear the shout out to Kit Pearson's novels as well. This is the inspiration of good books coming full circle and we are here for it.